Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Figment, sad but sweet. Figment is a four hour long adventure game where you play as Dusty accompanied by your bird friend Piper as you travel through the human mind. Without spoiling anything, I'll just say the game starts with an event that causes a bit of trauma. You're instantly put inside the mind of the character experiencing this trauma, and it's up to you to travel through the different sections of the mind to make things right, to defeat fear, despair, and depression. This game is very cute and cheeky, definitely geared more towards adults with a sense of humor, language, and theme. And because this game is focused on such a heavy subject such as depression and despair, I understand this game could be potentially triggering to some, while at the same time offers a bit of relief. As the game progresses, you feel a sense of change, a sense of calm. As even the main character Dusty becomes cheerier as you collect endorphins by completing puzzles and defeating enemies. Enemies and puzzles that are all in the way of the three nightmares you have to defeat to get back your scrapbook that was stolen by fear. Combat here is very spread out and also very simple. Dodge and attack. Nothing ever too difficult, and puzzles seem very straightforward as well. Light thinking skills required. They feel they're kind of just to be in your way. And this ultimately is where my biggest issue with the game comes in. It's just too much puzzles. The game from start to finish feels like trying to untangle a pair of headphones. You don't get a chance to breathe, so it feels like constant stress and anxiety. Nothing can just be simple or straightforward, not even for a little bit. But I guess that kind of reflects the tone of the game and the mindset of the character experiencing the trauma. But in terms of a game, it stops Figment from being as enjoyable as it possibly could be. Here you'll be completing puzzles to grab objects and put them in their right place to progress. But it's so all over the place that it frequently feels overwhelming. And that's a shame because this game is so cute and charming. The humor, the little songs enemies sing while you battle them, the cleverness of the game's world. Despite my problems of feeling bombarded with puzzles and backtracking, I still love this game because of all that surrounds the problems for me to solve. I give Figment a 6.5 out of 10. If you've played Figment, tell me what you thought about it down in the comments section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe for new to the channel. And thanks for watching. Nice. Let's get it back to my rocking chair and I'm good. You do remember I'm called Piper, right? Whatever, Turkey Tit.